What's going on guys? My name is Ted, bringing you all another review of an Android product, and this time I'm bringing you something completely different from the norm. The norm is smartphones, and this time I'm bringing you all a camera. So, um, totally different, uh, but the reason I'm doing this is because this camera is a beast, and it's a beautiful, beautiful Android product. So let's get into it, let's get into why I like this camera and what it actually is. So the camera's called the Galaxy Camera, pretty simply named. Um, the whole Galaxy series by Samsung is a, a very well-known series. Um, the Galaxy S3s, for example, my phone, I absolutely love it. And um, the Galaxy Camera is top of the line just with all uh, other Galaxy products. And let's get into what makes this phone, or I'm sorry, this camera so great. I'm so used to saying phone on my channel because I normally review smartphones. So the first thing I notice about this, this camera is it's got Android 4.1 or Jelly Bean operating system, which is the top of the line. And um, they can't even get this on the phones most of the time. I'm so surprised they actually have it inside of a camera operating system. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, the next cool thing is the display. The display is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels, an absolutely phenomenal display on a 4.8 inch screen. So a camera with as big of a display as the Galaxy S3, with as good of a resolution as the Galaxy S3, running a better operating system than the Galaxy S3, what else could it have inside of it? A quad-core processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. So absolutely phenomenal speed, which is very important for those camera people that want to start up their camera and start taking the photos as fast as they can. Um, absolutely phenomenal speed. Reading and writing times are just as fast. You can record in 1080p HD, which is, once again, top of the line. And another cool thing is that it's got a 16 megapixel camera inside of it, which is the whole focus of the product itself. Um, and 16 megapixels is awesome. That's more than we'll ever see in a phone. Uh, most phones nowadays are like 8 megapixels. 16 megapixels is insane with a 23x zoom. I think my phone gets 4x zoom, so this is a little bit above the line there. And uh, it's an absolutely neat device. It's so unique. I rarely see a, a camera, I've never seen a camera, that I'm actually interested in purchasing. And um, this one's got me thoroughly looking into it. I think the price point's a little too high. I'll get into more on that later. But the device itself is very intriguing. Um, I want to see it actually get released. It's not going to be released until October is the um, is the kind of the supposed release date. They haven't officially announced it yet, but that's just what everyone's expecting. Um, and it only got announced about a week ago, so we're really not sure right now. The camera has been looked at. It's been on display at the IFA in Berlin 2012, where people have talked about how nice it looks and how, how good and sturdy it feels in your hand. And um, that's pretty normal for a camera, but not for Galaxy and not for Samsung. Um, if you've ever had the Galaxy S3 or any of the Galaxy products, or most Samsung products to be honest, no offense to them, I love them, but their products do feel very plasticky and cheap. And this camera is not the way. According to the people that have actually held it and reviewed it and have been there in IFA Berlin 2012, um, they said that it felt very, very high end, very, very quality. And that's important. Um, for a product this nice um, and, and for this uh, out there, you know, as to actually trying to, trying to market these, these, a camera with Android 4.1 uh, Jelly Bean, um, it's a very unusual product, and I'm glad that they're going the extra mile to make this thing just absolutely insane, absolutely ridiculous of a product. And um, I think that's really, really cool. But let's get to the price point, because this is honestly what really matters. Um, the price point is going to be set at 400 pounds, which is about $640, $650 in the United States. So it's definitely a high-end camera. Uh, most cameras you can get for like $200, $300, like a Nokia or something like that, um, for your average good quality camera. This thing's way over the top, um, and I think rightfully so, considering how much is packed into this thing. Um, a quad-core processor, there's nothing to laugh at. A 16 megapixel camera is nothing to laugh at. And just the quality of the product itself is nothing to laugh at. I think that it's a very, very core, good product. I think that it'll last for a long time, and I think that it'll stay at a, at a good level in technology for a long time. That's one thing I'm so hesitant about in like cameras and phones these days is that they always get overtaken so quickly. You know, like you'll get a phone one day and then two months later the next best thing will be out. Well, cameras I don't think are the same way. I think this will be the best camera or you know normal person camera, not like you know massive photographer camera um, for a long time. I think that it'll be a very good product. And just in general, if you're a techie guy like me and you love Android products, this is the next coolest device. Um, I think it's an awesome thing, and it's just something different. And I love seeing different things. I love reviewing different things. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. You'll be able to see this hopefully in October, maybe a little bit later, but definitely before Christmas because they're going to want to have it out in the market before Christmas. That way they can get all those Christmas sales. And um, if I see this in my stocking, I'll be a very happy person. Hopefully y'all will be as well. If you like Android products and you just like knowing about the news about them, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post high quality content all about Android products, everything Android. I absolutely love it and I do good reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.